Dear God, thank you so much that your yoke is easy and your burden is light. Thank you, God, for the abundant promises that you have made to my brothers and sisters, that you would give, you would replace their worriedness, their hurried and the pressure and them. Heavenly Father, I come before your throne this evening, God, just uplifting your name and giving you all the glory. I thank you that you are a righteous God, one who is in the business of mending hearts, mending broken hearts, the heavy laden, the weary hearts. God, I ask that you would empower my brothers and sisters with the weightlessness of your words. Help them to know that no matter what, they can always depend on you. Help them to regain their strength in troubled times. Lord, recovering from this type of abuse is not easy. The very people that you feel that you can turn to don't always understand and that out of ignorance, not out of hate, but out of ignorance can say things that hurt us when we just want to share what, what we've been through and receive love and understanding and just a safe place. And so God, I'm asking that you would help my brothers and sisters not harden their hearts to those that don't understand. God, I'm asking that you would give their hearts rest. I'm asking almighty God that you would lessen the burden that they are carrying. Some have been carrying this burden for so long they don't know how to turn it over to you, God. I ask that you would show them. I ask that you would teach them how to release that yoke. God, your word says that your yoke is easy and your burden is light. We choose to stand on your word. And I'm asking you to please bring this word to life. Let my brothers and my sisters be able to reflect on their lives and see, wow, this is the work of the Lord because this yoke that I've been carrying is suddenly easy and my burden is light because God is not man that he would lie, neither is he the son of man that he would repent. We thank you because your promise is to give the worried, the hurried, the pressured, and the stressed out rest and peace for their souls. And so I come before you on behalf of my brothers and sisters, and I thank you because I know all of their concerns are your concerns. We are so grateful for your reminder that we do not have to carry it on our own. We ask that you would forgive us for the times that we try to fix things in our own power, for not taking time to rest in your green pastures, or coming to you first with our needs and burdens. God, thank you for the refreshing that comes from your spirit, fulfilling my brothers and sisters with joy, covering each one of them with a shield, leading them forward with hope, God, I ask that you would equip them to take notice of others who seem to be weary and burdened too. Help us all slow down to take some time and point others to you. Your goodness and your mercy follows us all the days of our lives, and we declare that we will rest in the house of the Lord. God, thank you so much for your word that is rich and full of life-saving wisdom. Teach us how to apply this wisdom in our lives. God, let your peace fill them. Let your love flow through them from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet. As those who are resting tonight are resting, refresh and renew. As those who are getting ready to wake up, may they, be, may they wake up recharged ready to take on this new day. And no matter what happens, God, I ask that you would bring their mind back to you at all times and in all situations. We promise, oh God, we give you our word that we will glorify you and we will trust you. For your name is the name that is above all names. And so God, thank you that you are lightening burdens. Thank you that you are taking loads. 
And I'm asking that you would help my brothers and sisters not to pick up what you have taken over. God, we thank you for the divine of the divine exchange. You are giving a garment of praise to them. You are giving you're giving beauty for ashes. You're giving oil of joy. We receive it with gladness in our hearts. And we continue to look to you with great expectation in total awe of the God that you are. Father, we love you and we declare our, your, your goodness. Bless my brothers and my sisters. Show them who you are in an intimate way. Show up in their lives, God, in a manner that they would know, yes, this is God minister to their very souls god that they would know this is the living god god i'm asking that you would give them each an encounter with you that would solidify their relationship in you that would draw them nearer to you that would cause them to seek you because we know you said that when you seek me, you will find me. May they put no man above you. May they always know that they are loved. They are accepted. They are valuable. They are wanted. And no matter what contrary words have been said, they are on time and they are in time. God, thank you for the gift of your son, Jesus Christ. And I pray that your will be done in the lives of my brothers and my sisters. It is in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that we pray. Amen.